I've done lots of traveling in the uh, hills of Tennessee, back east of Tennessee, and near Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg is a little community called Greenbrier. And this is uh, the covered bridge that uh, someone built recently. I don't know if it was there in the past, but uh, they did a great job of recreating the look of the old bridges. Back in the day, these bridges sometimes would span 100 feet, maybe 200 feet, and that could be very scary for a horse. Uh, so uh, that, the bridge served two purposes. It shielded the bridge from the winter elements and kept it from getting icy and slick because if you were uh, riding, driving a wagon or a horse across a bridge and all of a sudden you hit ice, you could have a major accident and, and go over the edge. So they would build a bridge to cover um, the uh, keep the elements off the bridge to keep ice away but also to make the horse feel like he was just going into a barn. And now I'm trying to do the job of recreating the look of a tree. I tell people all the time that uh, trees are how I got started. My, my, the, my first art book that my mom bought me was uh, How to Draw Trees and I spent hours and hours drawing trees and branches. Originally, um, my wife uh, wanted me to do some deer and I had six or eight of them back here in the field, but they were so small and my painting felt uh, a little heavy on this side and lighter on that side, so I chose to move them right to the foreground to give some sense of a presence here. And I'm trying to lead your eye away from uh, the large structure here and more interest in and circling through the painting this way rather than going through it that way. It's just beauty personified, a graceful bridge, graceful, uh, beautiful animals, a community of people gathered together in the church. What might have been impossible to get there, heavy snow, a river between you and the community, um, somebody has taken the time to build a bridge to draw you in, to make it easy for you to approach. And that's really, you know, that's, that's who I want to be in my life. I want to be that kind of person who makes it easy for people to approach. I don't want to be somebody that runs people off.